This is every team's <coughs> X factor for 2024. And for the Browns, they go Jerry Judy. If that Alabama product can find his groove with Cleveland and establish himself as a clear second option or better in the passing attack, this Browns roster and team may truly be without a weak spot. Um, you know what? This, this system would appear to uh, be catered to a guy like Jerry Judy as well and Amari Cooper, guys that run routes well. Well, that's the thing. And, you know, you talk about, you know, how the team started going more vertically down the field last year, and they did that with success. You know, that was obviously the plan and what they were hoping they were going to get with Deshaun Watson. You brought in guys who were solid route runners like Amari Cooper, Elijah Moore, and then you tripled up on it this offseason by going out and bringing in a guy like Jerry Judy. Two guys who had, you know, the most receptions of 25 yards or more over the last few seasons are currently on the Cleveland Browns roster. And one is Amari Cooper, and the other one is Jerry Judy. And, you know, with Jerry Judy, and, you know, he's come in here. The Browns did a great job with the extension. Obviously, they extended him right away. This is a player they were fond of and fond of for a while. And, you know, they wanted to get in the Jerry Judy business as soon as they were able to get in the Jerry Judy business. The first thing they did is make sure that they have a long, you know, a long relationship with Jerry Judy. And that obviously worked out well for them. But Jerry, you know, needed a change of pace. You know, every time he turned around in Denver, it was another quarterback similar to what the situation was for all the Browns receivers last year and never really got the opportunity to, to, to break out. Um, you know, there, you know, you see the over unders, you know, it's over, over 109, 900 yards receiving for Jerry Judy this year, which would be his highest statistical output to this point. He's, I think it's going to be special for Jerry Judy. I think he's going to be a really, really good player for this team. And I think the most important thing for the Browns is it kind of gives them a glimpse of what the next version of the wide receiver room looks like. Cause even if you don't want to say Jerry Judy's a one, he is a strong, strong number two. And then the Browns, it depends, you know, where the relationship goes further with Amari Cooper, you know, how they address it from there. But it was an able, it was a way to get the room younger, the way to get the room more talented, and in a way, essentially, to recoup some of the lost draft picks that were sent to uh, Houston for the Deshaun Watson trade. And you were getting a guy who was a former number one pick, and the Browns didn't have those type of picks the last couple of years to address the wide receiver position with.